now? Isn't your name Bester? And aren't you a newspaper man? No. Still no? What you're talking about? What were you doing snooping around this part? I wasn't snooping. I came to talk to you. How did you get in? The door was open. I walked in. You said you came to talk to me? Yes. What about? About details of arms shipments from the United States to Europe. Ah, that's interesting. What makes you think I'd be interested in such information? Because you're a clearing house for information like that. You got paid for it. Oh, is that so? Who do you think pays me for such information? Let's put it this way. The States wouldn't pay you for it because they know what they are shipping. Who sent you? A man by the name of Renner. Oh, Renner? That's what I said. Why didn't you tell me that before? Why didn't you give me a chance to tell you? But you are a newspaper man, like it says in your paper. Everybody's got to have some kind of papers. That's true. When did you see him? Last week in Tangier. Did he give you any paper to me? You think he's crazy to stick his neck out like... Now that I mention it, no. I don't think so. I don't think he would be that crazy. But I will tell you something you didn't know about Renner. What? You never met Renner. I tell you, I... I know, I you... know what you told me. But I know that you never saw him. How do you know? Because I am Renner. Say, a man has to have papers. And sometimes it's better in my business to have some papers. And sometimes I don't want people to think I'm good. Just passing it on. And then I get another name. One of my other names, Renner. You made a mistake, John. <laughs> And the river is clear. Just throw them over the side. Not around me. I didn't see him. I don't know who you're talking about. Lock him up. Maybe I'll talk to him later. You can do that just because you're an inspector. You've got to charge me with something. That's my legal right. You can push me around. Charge him with insulting an inspector. Same answer from all of them. <laughs> Same type. All these petty crooks stick together. They pretend it's some kind of code. Well, what's your next move? Wait for something to break. I've exhausted everything else. You're sure Vesta went down to the waterfront? Well, he telephoned me and said that's where he was calling from. And if his hunch worked out, he'd have the leader of the gang sewed up. And he was alone. I tried to stop him. I even asked him to wait for me, but he wouldn't do it. Some of you newspaper men lose your perspective when you're after a story. Or when we're after another newspaper man. What do you mean? I've got a tip myself. Tip? You ever hear of a place called Cafe at Lockheed? Yes, what about it? What kind of a place is it? Oh, hang out for people like one you just saw. Petty crooks and vagrants. Why? Ever hear of a man named Morrow? They've far too many names for us to remember them all. I see. Well, I'll get in touch with you later. And let me know if anything develops. Mr. Paz, I can tell you one thing. I've succeeded in having one of my men placed in a group which I suspect has something to do with the disappearance of your colleague. Oh? Can you tell me any more? No, but check with me. Something may break. I'll do that. Thanks, Inspector. Changing money. No thanks. Cigarettes? Watches? Hey. Beat it. Hey, you get it. And look, come by me. Beat it.
<laughs> Maybe you're interested in buying something. This place is a regular department store, isn't it? In a way, I guess it is. We've got some funny departments. <laughs> What's your name? I sent you the note. What's your name? Careful, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you? I like that. I like a man who is careful, especially when it involves me. What's your name? Moro. What did you want to talk to me about? Bear. I know what you want and what you're looking for. Tell me about it. There's a newspaper man by the name of Esther who was looking for a lead to a man who buys some same information. Right? Don't let me interrupt you. I like you. Where is Vester? I don't know. It's been nice talking to you. But I'll know sooner than anybody else. Sooner than the police. And as soon as you find out, you'll let me know, huh? You know who I am. You told me. Your name is Moro. I run this waterfront. Nothing happens here without I know it. Without I okay it. Oh, I get it. You mean you're the boss? Except for this fellow Vester was looking for. That's it. He moved in here using the front as his operating headquarters. I don't go for this espionage business. What he's doing is making too much trouble. You mean uh, all the little crooks the police have been grilling? These are my friends. They're working for me. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Catch you in the society column? We can work together, Mr. Powers. Okay. Like I was saying, we can work together. What do you got to offer, Moro? And what do you want out of this? I want the same man you and Vestra are trying to find. Because I want him out of my territory and out of my hair. And I can give you an underground operation that's always one step ahead of the police all the time. Mm. And that's all you want? That's all. Except when we do find out who the guy is you're looking for, you are going to have to be the front man. Because I'm not sending any of my boys in. They wouldn't go. All right. Let me know when you get something. I got something. What is it? Found out where Vester is. Oh, now, wait a minute. How could... Oh. That's right. Where is he? They pulled him out of the water with a big hole in him. Won't last very long. Take me to him. Sure, sure. Don't you want to finish your beer? No. Okay, okay. <laughs> Men weren't fast enough. This is what he had in his pocket. Do you? It's a baggage check, isn't it? Looks like it. Uh, we have her call police headquarters and report Vester's body. It's all arranged. As soon as we leave. Twenty-four hours. No charge, sir. Thank you. Yep. You 
know any of these names? Some of them. I'd like a report on every single one of them. Can you give it to me? I can give it to you. When? Tonight. Good, good. What about this one, uh, Castro? You know him? Yeah, I know him. Who's he? He runs a few operations. Where can I find him? He owns a gym on King Street. The gymnasium? That's right, number 27. You coming with me? That's what I meant before, Mr. Powers. That's where you come in. I'll help you. Like I give you the address, but you front it. Uh huh? I get it. I play the hero. That's right. All right. Meet me back at the Cafe Atlantide. And uh, check this typewriter, will you? Oh, sure. sure. Hey, mister, want a typewriter? Perfect condition. The owner left town. Hey, boy. You laugh. You laugh. You laugh. You laugh. Keep your left up. What's your name, Philip? What's yours? Castro. I own this gym. You your boy? That's right. Think about it. Oh. Don't crowd me, boys. I said, don't crowd me. Hold it! You're a pretty tough guy yourself. Fighter? I used to be. Why'd you stop? The boxing commission didn't like what my manager told me to do. Oh, I see. How about a round with the Lobos? Oh, I don't fight anymore. That makes no difference. Not one round. No, well, I'm all out of condition. Just one round. I said I didn't fight anymore. I said just one round. I've got no equipment here. We got everything here. Get him a suit. Don't go away. It seemed like a good plan of action when I walked into the gym, but I didn't know it was going to end up like this. I was trying to remember all the things the boxing coach used to say back in school, and I was trying to forget that pounding a typewriter isn't considered the best training for becoming another Dempsey. If these were the men I thought they were, they had killed Vesper. That was murder. What I had done is to give them a perfectly legal way to murder me, unless the guy was really a sucker for a left hook. I wondered if he had ever heard of the Marcus of Queensbury. Why? You look in a pretty good shape. What did you say your name was? I didn't. Oh, that's right. You didn't. You don't look like very much marked up for a fighter. Lots of us don't look like what we really do. Or what we really are. I also a philosopher. Aren't we all?
Oh, all right, mister. You have got more brains than Lobos. Gee, thanks. You want to fight for me? I don't fight anymore. What did you come here for? I, uh, I heard you might be able to use a good man. Who did you hear that from? From me, Mr. Castro. Hello, Moro. You told him to see me? I was looking for a job, and I told him to try you. All right, you are hired. Doing what? I'll tell you that later. Or are you fussy? If I was fussy, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Funny guy, eh? Why did you meet him? He just walked into my cafe and we started talking. Next time you talk to somebody you don't know, Moro, don't mention my name. know how to handle yourself, boy. Thanks. You've got him guessing about you. It could be trouble. I want you to do something for me. What's that? I'm in with these boys now, but uh, I'm also on the spot. I'd say the chances are 50-50 that I'll be followed for a while. I'd give better odds than that. I haven't told him my name yet, but I can't hold out forever. Now, look. I want you to go to my hotel. Get my luggage and check it into some hotel on the waterfront. Use the name uh, Smith. Well, that sounds phony. That's why I want to use it. I get it. The customer will think you're running away from something. Mm. You know where you can find a hotel like that? Sure, sure. It's on Shep Street. It's called the Raphael. I'll have you stop there in, uh, in an hour. Shep Street, huh? Eh? Uh-huh. Good. I'm going out to get something to eat, and then I'll go over there. I'll have you tagged. The layout will look good. <laughs> you're smart, all right. Oh, uh, and uh, look, I don't want to use the phone for a while either. So call Inspector Lang. Are you? Yeah, call Inspector Lang. Tell him the whole situation. Tell him where I am. Maybe he won't believe me. Well, tell him anyway. Okay. Now go on, get started. You know where you can find me. My name is Smith. You have my key? You don't live here. Morrow brought my things in. Morrow? That's right. I haven't seen Morrow for a week. He hasn't been here? You heard of what I said. Thanks. Something had slipped, and I had to figure out what it was. Fast. Morrow had plenty of time to take care of the hotel switch. And if he hadn't, he might have been picked up. And if so, why? Mr. Castro would like to see you. than we thought they were. I guess they were. If you are wondering whether Moore had time to call the police, he didn't. Good. Now I can relax and stop worrying. You still joke? I, uh... Oh. Your friend Vestal left his coat, didn't he? Then you did murder Vestal? Oh, yes. My service as an agent in a country wouldn't be of great value if my profession were known. You mean your, uh, your services as a spy? 
I'm not a spy, Mr. Powers. I'm a buyer. I buy like other businessmen, the things I can sell. I'm not really so bad. Not so bad as the men who sell to me. You mean you're just a retail murderer working for a wholesaler? I don't believe this discussion will be profitable for either one of us. Take them below and wait until night, and then get rid of them. The police are on the quay. They're searching the bodies. The police? How far are they? They'll be here in any minute. Can we still get them off the boat? No, let's see them. Get back. And let me know when they're ready to go boat. Right. Take them below. If I can't bluff the police off, I'll signal to you, then kill both of them. That's a sucker trick if I ever heard one. Shut up! You take us below, and then he signals you to kill us. Meantime, he steps off the boat, walks away, and the police pick up you two. No trouble. I told you to shut up. I'll shut up. But uh, I think maybe you better start talking. Take them below. That's our only chance. Your only chance. If the police get them now, they will get us for killing Vester. They'll get somebody for Vester. Who pulled the trigger? We're in this together. If one of us hangs, we'll all hang. Take them below and we'll talk about it. Hold it. Now take them down. Let's wait for the police. You're crazy? No, Castro. I'm not crazy. You're Inspector Lang's agent. That's right. What? I'm an agent. And you have given me all the proof I need. Good work, Lobos. Hello, Mr. Powers. Glad we found her in time. <laughs> Me too. Hey, if you were a police agent, why did you hit me so hard? It was a better disguise than you had. <laughs> I guess it was at that. 